Isn't the fresh air great, boys? Yeah. Not really. My lungs are used to smog. Smog and fumes from Italian cooking. I haven't seen my cousin Burford since I was in short pants and playing kids' games. That'd be a week ago Thursday. Nice to have you here, cousin. Nice to be here, Burford. How are you doing? I'm starving to death. Ah, we have much in common. I ain't sold so much as a stick of gum in three weeks. And I've tried everything. I've had sales and contests. I even had Jim Cratchlow from over in the next county come over here and dance around in a penguin suit. Most pathetic thing you ever saw. And I didn't sell a thing. It's all on account of what happens to folks when they come near here. What happens to them? Well, there's your first hint right there. Someone's slinging mud. And it's nowhere near election day. Rufus Crabwater, you hear me? You stop this. It's way past the amusing stage. I'll stop it when you give me back my pappy's watch. I ain't got your pappy's watch, you miserable excuse for a person. Three years back, he left his pappy's watch in my store and it up and disappeared. I've had a load of things disappear around this place. Don't know how, don't know where. But I didn't take his pappy's watch. Can't you reason with him? I'd say not. Hold it, Odie. You may proceed. I'm gonna dry off and eat my candy bar. Mm, no towels. I have to use the automatic hand blower. I hate these for two reasons. First, it's impossible to blow your nose on them. And that would be the second reason. My candy bar. Where is it? Seal all the exits. Been that way for weeks. Anybody comes near my store, whammo, mud pie and the kisser. You should have seen what he did to the Fourbush twins. It was just awful. Did you take my candy bar? Uh -uh. Well, you're my cousin, so I'm going to go find this Rufus and talk some sense into him. I wouldn't do that if I were you. I'll settle this or my name is Mud. Mud should be back any minute now. <laughs> Hello. My name is Mud. We were expecting you. If John keeps this up, he's going to go through the world supply of rubber duckies in one day. Okay, we got to find my candy bar, Odie. <laughs> Can I describe it? Sure. It had peanuts and nougat and wafers and it was all wrapped in a mouth watering chocolate coating and sprinkled with bits of chocolate and Odie, we got to find it. That's not it, that's a watch. Candy bars just don't walk away, or do they? Maybe that one wasn't dead. <gasps> Odie, Odie, you found the watch. That must be the watch that the Fernando Valenzuela of the mud pie was looking for. Wait here, and don't lose it. It's not my candy bar, but it's not a bad find. It's okay, Mrs. Cathcart. You can come in and shop here. Yeah, he's still throwing mud, but tell you what, I'll throw in a free bottle of shampoo and one of them windshield scraper things. You who urgent cat message. The sandbox is that way. What? That ain't it? This had better be good, Kitty. You brought me in here to show me a candy bar? Cat, you're nuttier than that Rufus fella. Odie! Where'd the watch go? Oh well, at least I got my candy bar back. The trouble with candy bars is, if you can finish them, they're not big enough. You should know better than to interrupt a candy bar. Odie, you clumsy canine! <laughs> you found the watch? Where is it? <laughs> Odie, that is not a watch. That is a head of cabbage. There is a difference. Huh? You do not tell time with a head of cabbage. You make coleslaw out of it. Aww.
Odie, you have a head of cabbage. I'm gonna go finish my candy bar. I hope you have a good excuse for that feeble impression of a real dog. Playing charades. This is probably a movie title. A movie about a very silly dog. Odie, I have no idea what you're saying. And you have no idea how proud I am of that. Candy bar thief! Stop! In the name of Overeaters Anonymous! Odie, we have a serious problem here. What in the world was that? Garfield. I don't know what it was, but I know it was Garfield. Odie, next week we start wearing shoes. Ah, oh, now, look at what they've gone and done. This is worse than the time Arnold Fragg brought that live moose in here. Garfield, look what you've done. You've... Do you think they're me? Well, those are Mrs. Hotchkiss's earrings. She lost them two years ago. And that there's weird Harold Mugwump's tiara. Never figured out what he did with that. Well, looks like I have me a pack rat, leaving things and swapping them for stuff. That's where all the things went. And here's Rufus's pappy's watch. Well, it looks like everything's worked out fine now. The store's doing big business. Not as much business as that there rat is doing. Why should I trade you something to get my own candy bar back? Imagine. A rat had my pappy's watch. I'll never mud you again, Burford. I'm sorry to hear that, Rufus. It was bad for business, but good for my complexion. Hey, how'd you get your candy bar back from the pack rat? I traded him something we didn't have any use for. Odie, 